Hi Titans, welcome to Behind the Desk, a gun broadcast show featuring leadership members here in the gun community. Behind the Desk aims to give a new, more in-depth, personal view of these leaders and how things are from their perspective. I'm Victor, here today with Nathan. Hi. Nathan, could you quickly introduce yourself? Yeah, so my name is Nathan Levy. Um, I'm in 12th grade and I'm the ASB president of Gun High School. All right, let's talk about you and SEC. When did you first get involved? Oh, um, I first got involved in sixth grade, actually, like all the way back when I was at Fletcher Middle School. Um, I remember they released the openings if you wanted to be on student government, um, and I was just really excited for it. I found that um, it was a great community, and I wanted to join right away, and so I uh, was on student council in sixth grade. I was um, site council rep in seventh grade, and then ASB president of um, Fletcher in 8th grade and that kind of started my student council journey I guess. Alright and then uh, once you came to Gunn did you start as a freshman or? Yeah so at Gunn um, I was a little bit wary to start just because I was a new student we were online and so I actually waited until I was a junior to run for junior class president and then I was able to um, get involved with Gunn SCC there but it's a different a little bit of a different pathway than um, a normal um, SEC members take but I found it to be uh, to work for me. Oh well, that's interesting what is the normal pathway? Um, I think the stereotypical pathway would, um, especially for like ASB president, would be to participate in gun student activities throughout your whole um, time at gun, throughout your whole time in high school. And I think um, from my perspective, I didn't have as much backing me. I couldn't say that I was like freshman or sophomore um, on SEC, but I would think that with my experience in middle school, I was really able to use that and what I learned throughout that time to um, develop my experiences now. All right, what does the SEC do here at GUN? Yeah, uh, well the SEC is in charge of all student activities at GUN. It's anything you see from uh, an event like the Harvest Feast, which is coming up soon, to any of the dances, to prom, uh, to homecoming is our biggest event of the year. Uh, and that's something that we run and we're in charge of. So um, anything that students are related to, uh, there's this student government aspect to that. And now that we're on the topic of events, how does the event planning process start and who's the people who pitches ideas? Yeah, so it's really a dynamic thing. Um, over the years, it's kept, it keeps on changing. Uh, we always find what works best for some groups, some events, for different people. But the standard event planning looks like um, four to five weeks before the event, uh, there's one person that's gonna lead it and they're normally in charge and they get a group of five to six people together to start brainstorming the ideas, uh, what they're going to do, how they're going to implement the event. And so over time, they're slowly working on this. Um, and so that in the end, two to three weeks before the event, they can present to SEC and get more feedback and get more perspectives on it before they put on the event. All right, and how do you guys decide when you'll host events? Yeah, so um, a lot of things are done a lot by tradition, right? So homecoming is normally the same time every year. Thanksgiving is around the holidays, December, etc. But um, I think for uh, our newer events, we try to aim to find the places where we don't have as much going on for the student body because I think our goal is to have something you can always look forward to, right? Like every week or every two weeks, there's something new. And so, for example, like November is um, is not doesn't have as many events for us this this uh, month. And so, I think going forward into the coming years, it's a place that we look to put more events and find those little holes in our schedule. All right, what's a key part, what are some key parts to you that you think makes events run super smooth? Hmm. For me, um, planning and, uh, I think planning and passion are kind of the two things that I would, uh, that go into a really strong event. I mean, of course, planning and making sure that your event is thought through and that you have um, all the materials, you have all the resources, but I think the passion and um, the SEC members who really kind of put their all into the events that they do, it shows through um, completely. And so I think we've seen, we have the Titan Town Hall coming up with um, Harvest Feast, I think with our carnival. There's these really um, big events, even like Smash of Titans, where the SEC members that are putting them on are super passionate about what they're doing. And their excitement shows through into their planning, it shows through into everything they do. Um, and I think that kind of drives them to make something that's a really great event. Does, is planning events usually very stressful or is it very structured? Um, there's a lot of structure, I think, actually, because SEC's been doing this for a long time now. There's a really clear set of um, rules and there's a clear set of um, clear steps guess, that yeah, you have to yeah. do. Exactly, right? Mm -hmm. And so um, it's, it's pretty straightforward. I think the stress is a lot of, un comes from the uncertainty, right? Because I think if someone has to cancel or if you don't have the vision that you wanted come to life, 
that's where you have to make those last second decisions and you have to kind of decide what you're going to keep, what you're not going to keep and how you're going to kind of overcome things with you know, a week or two of your event. Got it. How do you both when you're planning events and after events, how do you gain feedback from the gun community? Yeah, so I, um, I think getting feedback from other people is difficult sometimes, right? Because there's so many students and to find exactly what everyone wants is hard. But I think we have a lot of forms of communication, uh, one being the quarterly feedback forms we send out where students can uh, type their responses. And, and within SEC, we do a presentation. We look at the responses and we look at how can we really implement and make noticeable changes for our, you guys um, out in the community. Um, and I think also, uh, just SEC members go out quarterly and talk to specific individuals as well. It's something that we do have done traditionally, something we do regularly. Um, and this is just a great way to connect right, with people uh, individually. And I think that kind of one-on-one, -on -one, face to face interaction is really where you get the best feedback that we can implement. Zooming back out, in general, what is the SEC community like to you and what, what do you enjoy about it? Yeah, um, well, I think the SEC community is like something really special to me. It's a, a period of class that doesn't feel like class something I can look forward to every single, every single week. Um, and it's really become this really tight-knit group of students that um, even though it's, we've only been meeting for two or three months now, it's something that I really appreciate and find deep connection with every single person there. Um, and I think there's something that connects you when you're putting on an event or you're staying late to clean up for a dance or you're setting up stanchions for like our carnival. It's a really a deep joy that everyone feels and I think that brings us together um, as a community. And we've had these really great experiences um, to we've gone out and done like roasting marshmallows, we've done these like we've gone and made cookies, we've done all these kind of like fun uh, bonding activities and I think having this really strong community with NSEC has made the events better actually for the students, which is something you don't always think about, but I think there's a lot of motivation needed to go out and spend all this time outside of school putting on these large events for over 2,000 students. Yeah, and definitely. To find that really has to come from each other. Mm -hmm. And so the fact that everyone has been able to feel comfortable, to feel safe, but also to feel motivated by each other uh, has been something that I'm super proud of and uh, I'm glad that other people can kind of be affected by that as well. All right, and if there was one thing you could change, what it would be? I think that I think that um, having uh, communication to the student body is always the hardest thing, because not everyone is going to check Instagram, not everyone's going to check Schoology, not everyone's going to want to participate and be a part of these events. And so I think um, I would love to see more uh, different platforms of communication, which is what we're trying. We've started to do some TikToks but I, and a newsletter for a couple months, but I think we're trying to really branch out and find these ways that everyone can appreciate and um, have access to around campus. All right, thanks for joining us here today, Nathan, and thank you, Titans, for watching. If you have questions you want to bring to the table or people you would like to see featured on the show, DM us on Instagram at GunTV. I'm Victor Pang. This is Behind the Desk.